Welcome to HOS Technologies. Here we are going to demonstrate the project speed control of single phase induction motor by using cyclo converter. So we have different kind of cyclo converters. In our project we are going to use single phase to single phase step down cyclo converter. So this is the circuit diagram of our cyclo converter. We need to use 8 thyristors so to control the uh, speed of this induction motor. This is single phase. AC to 30 volts 60 watts induction motor so here the load is induction motor and we are going to get a single phase supply so here we get a single phase supply these are the 8 triacs connected in this manner so we can note it in the positive off cycle and negative off cycle this is a negative off cycle and positive off cycle so here in the circuit diagram also we mentioned this is a positive off cycle or a negative off cycle bridges so here how this works to step down the frequency so cyclo counter main intention is to control the frequency step up or step down so we are going to control in a step down mode so this is the output waveforms we are going to get based on the signals from the peak microcontroller okay so first of all we will explain you the cyclo converter operation so in our positive off cycle this is our input signal of AC voltage 230 volts with 50 Hz of frequency. So this is the one full cycle of 360 degrees angle. So 180 degrees of positive angle. So in this positive off cycle, so we are going to control these two tri triacs. So that is thyristor, sorry. So U1 and U4. So when the positive off cycle approaches, so we are going to switching on these two. So then the current flows through U1 to the load and this will be off automatically and through the load to the u4 and to the neutral so now you will get the positive voltage here and so the positive off cycle will be completed and after the, in the negative off cycle so we are going to control the these two u3 and u2 so when the negative off cycle nothing but uh, in the top you will get the positive sorry in the negative and there is a positive off cycle so there you will get the voltage of from here to there then you will get the positive supply only means the positive off cycle of the input signal these two will be conducts the negative off cycle of the input signal these two will be conducts so there you will get the positive voltage here only then the output current is going to be the same of positive and coming to the negative off cycle same like this we are going to of this one and so here u6 and u7 these two will be conducts so in the negative off cycle sorry in the next this positive off cycle we need to convert into the negative so we need to convert into like this in the negative off cycle the voltage will be given from this to get this negative uh, negative waveform this positive should be converted into the negative current so then you will get the positive and here and parallel these four uh, positive off cycle positive bridge will be off and from here the negative sorry you will get the positive and here so it will be giving to the inputs so here these two will be on so here we will get the voltage so now so we will get the negative voltage ok and coming to the next negative off cycle also we are going to control these two so parallelly you will get the negative voltage here so get the positive it was converted into the negative through this one and in the negative off cycle you will get the negative voltage here so two times this positive and negative will be converted to the two negative cycles so one more time I am explaining clearly. So here negative and uh, we will get the negative here. So we will get the switch on these two on. So when we get the positive input we will on these two. So then what will happen when we are on this, these two. So returnly this on and you will get the positive here. So nothing but negative here. So negative voltage will be the output comes of current. So negative current. So in this way, we are going to changing the frequency. You can observe here. So initially, in one cycle, it will take around of 20 milliseconds, and this is called the one cycle. Means here we get the f by two. Same manner, we are going to press the f by f by four in the switching time. So like this, we are going to increase in the input frequency. So this is done by the peak microcontroller based on the input from the Wi-Fi phone to Wi-Fi. So here we are going to give the input signal from the phone and there is a ESP8266 will receive the signal and give the input to this microcontroller. 
this microcontroller gives the input signal to the main controlling motherboard. So this will control the firing angles of this thyristors. And this is the zero crossing detector. So why? Because we need to know the where the zero crosses means when where the positive obstacle starts or where the negative obstacle starts. So in order to get this, when the positive obstacle is given as input to the transformer, it will convert the 230 volts AC to the 12 volts AC. Means you will get the 12 volts AC signal and it will give uh, convert it into the full wave bridge rectifier. So here you will get the 12 volts of pulsating DC. Nothing but like this pulses positive pulses after this one continuously and there we are going to use the resistors three resistors as a potential divider because we need to give the low voltage signal to the tra transistor that's why we are dividing the voltage of 10 is to 10 is to 1 so when you get the 12 volts here so we will get of 0 0.7 volts which is sufficient to switch the transistor so whenever this crosses the transistor base will get the 0 0.7 volts then it will be on so then the microcontroller will get the signal of on nothing but 5 volts. So it will get a square waveform. Okay, the zero crossed. And in this, in this manner, the microcontroller will identify the when the zero crosses. Based on the zero crossing, it will control the firing angle to the thyristors. Right? So here we are going to control this motor in five levels. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So total five sets. Zero nothing but off, four nothing but high speed. So before switching on the kit, uh, you will get the 230 volts power supply and the 5 volts to the charger and uh, before switching on that so we need to enable a mobile phone hotspot in your phone you need to install two apps before switching on the gauge one app is network analyzer this is a network analyzer app and another is juice ssh so when you type in ssh you will get the juice ssh app so these two are the important then after after installation go to hotspot settings this is uh, the next important thing so enable the hotspot with the name of a b c d e f g h i r small letters no capital no space okay and the password should be one two three four five six seven eight nine one two nine password a to y is the name then okay enable the hotspot after enabling the hotspot then switch on the kitchen okay so after switching on the kit, you can see the connected devices which was you can find a ESP8266 right initially it will blinks and after Wi-Fi initialization this light will blinks right it's blinking nothing but the Wi-Fi got initialized so now you can check in your phone you can see the ESP8266 okay and now ESP is name and then uh, go to network analyzer do LAN scan and you need to find the IP address of this one see here one plus my phone and 192.168.43.90 is IP address of the in my phone so this is the IP address note on this IP address so in your phone it will be changes so you need to note on the IP address and then go to next app SSH connections so already connected so you need to do uh, add add mark and then you will get this when you press that down like this when you uh, press plus you will see this kind of screen and here you need to enter the IP address which you get from the app and uh, these three steps will be there first step telnet and second step address third step port number these three are the very important port number 8080 fix this IP address will be changes according to the phone these three steps then ok and now click on this now it's connected you can see this welcome to the project you have entered so and so so now in order to control the speed so just i'm giving the high speed again when you enter the four enter so you can see this the motor is ready so when you enter the reply also you'll get that reply and now one i'm entering one speed decreases two three Four. One, two, and zero. Right, zero is off. So I'm entering four. So my exit speed zero is off. In this manner, we can control the motor speed in five steps based on the input uh, 
signal firing angle to the tyristors. Thank you for watching demo.